guys, so this past weekend my mom and I went shopping and we found all sorts of fun Japanese candies. So in this video I'm going to show you how to like make the candies and then taste test them. Okay, so the first thing we're going to try are these Enemaru Kiro biscuits. And they're little biscuits with animals printed onto them. So let's see. I'll try Mr. Hippo here. <laughs> okay, so they're kind of like a mild animal cracker, and they're a little bit sweet, but they're really good. They'd be really good with like Nutella or something. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna try is this Warito Softo, which is Ichigo Aji. Means strawberry flavor. So. Okay, so it looks like it comes with a little packet of powder, and then they give you three little ice cream cones. So cute. Okay. You have to dump the powder in the little tray and then add 10 cc's of water. Okay. okay, so 10 cc's of water is about 2 teaspoons. So let's see. Foaming up a little bit. This is so weird. Okay, so it's pretty foamy now. Kind of holds its shape. Okay, so we take one of our little cones. Go. Okay, let's try it. Hmm. It's interesting. It's not bad. It kind of tastes like when you're at the dentist and they put that fluoride flavored stuff on your teeth, but it's got like a kind of an artificial strawberry flavor to it. That's what this tastes like. And the little wafer crackers are just like those wafer candies, except they don't have the cream in the middle. So, hmm. I could give it like a four out of 10. Oh, and for the animal crackers, I'd give those a seven out of 10, because those are really good. <laughs> but it gives you a lot of this weird foamy stuff, so I guess that's good. Okay. okay, next up is this Hanakappa Gummy Kit. So, you get to make a little gummy face of this character called Hanakappa. So let's see. Oh, it's cute. So, you see they give you a little tray and it's got all the details on it. So, face and then smiley, little mouth. Eyes, flower, yeah. Okay, I give you a stirring thing. Mm. Kiro, which means yellow. Kiro, Kiro. So that's yellow gummy powder. Midori iro, which is green color. Akairo, which is red color. Cow. Cow. This is for the face. Okay, it looks like you start by removing this little scoop on the side. Okay, okay. this mix. Oh, that's 
so weird. So it's already kind of turning gelatinous. Let's see if I can get it. So it did turn it into a, like a jelly, but I think I put a little bit too much water in it. Let's see if I can get it to stay into the mold. Like that. It turned right into a jelly. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so the facial features get the red pouch. The aka, the pretty cool how quickly it turns from the powder to the jello. Okay, so we did the red and the face, and now for the green. his mouth. It looks like I got a really excited happy face mold on mine. Okay, so I got a little plate here to build it on. So, it says you can use the back of your scooper to lift out the gummy pieces. So his face kind of turned out a little sad looking. <laughs> All right, let's try and put the little pieces on there. piece is finished. So. Here we go. It sticks together really well. So, right time for the taste test. I'm gonna steal his flower. Sorry, Kappa friend. Okay. Mm. That's actually really good. It does have a gummy texture, which is surprising since it came from a powder, but... And that flavor is really good too, so I would give this one 7 out of 10. <laughs> okay, so next on the list are these Choco Kinako Mochi. So this is mochi, which is my favorite Japanese snack. And it's got green tea powder and chocolate to put on top. So, let's see what it's like. gives you two little trays over here and then it looks like these are the mochi and they're dried out in some way so you have to add water and here's the green tea powder and here's the chocolate so oh and you get a little fork so you gotta pour out the Matcha powder, green tea powder, and the choco chocolate into the trays. So I've got my chocolate and my green tea powder. And now you want to sprinkle some water on these. I'm not sure again how much water. I guess I'll start with a teaspoon. So they get all squishy after you add the water to them. It's 
kind of has like a similar texture to the gummy. So I wonder if they use the same type of powder or not. Okay, so then it shows you take one of the little mochi and you dip it into the chocolate. green tea powder. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Hmm. That's pretty good too. Yeah, so the mochi actually does have the same texture as traditional mochi does. So that's kind of cool. Um, the chocolate sauce is more of a dark chocolate, so it pairs really nicely with the matcha powder. But yeah, I really like this. Um, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10, just because it's not as good as like the, the mochi you'd buy already pre-made, and like the circle shapes, but it's still really good, so yes. 6 out of 10. Okay, so my last snack is this Meiji Tedukuri Opodo kit. So Tedukuri is like handmade, um, and on Valentine's Day in Japan, it's really popular for girls to hand make chocolates. So, and then Opodo is a type of Japanese chocolate, so I got the thing here, and it looks a little bit like a mountain. So I'll open up these ones first to show you what it's supposed to look like when the chocolates are all done. Like they have a little bit of strawberry on the top and then a chocolate on the bottom. And they're super cute. So let's try one. Mmm. They're super delicious too. Yummy. So let's see if I can make them as good as that one. I'll give you a little sprinkles. stirring stick. I'm going to give you three different chocolate pens. Here's the cutest chocolate mold ever. So you got a little heart shaped one over here and a bunny. And then the regular Aporo shapes and a big one, a little cake, and a weird like clover one. Okay, so, so the first step is to heat these up in a little bowl of hot water. Okay, so I just heated up some water, and you want to put your chocolate tubes into the water. That's cool though, you can already kind of see the chocolate melting inside of the little tubes. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay. So I've got a little plate here. If I can open my sprinkles. And while those sit, I'm gonna try one of the sprinkles and see how they taste on their own. Let's try a pink one. Mm. They're really good. They're just like little sprinkles. That's done well. Oh, yep. So it gets really liquefied pretty easily, easily and quick. I'm just gonna dry it off. And then it looks like you just open the little top of it and put it in the chocolate mold. So I think I'll start with a heart.
what's left now is to wait, and I think you can put them in the fridge for a little bit until they set. So, okay, so these that. are all set up, and before I take these out of the container, this is what they're supposed to look like. So that's one of the actual Apodo candies. So let's see how they turned out. Okay, so this one, they come out of the mold really easily. So there's my strawberry white chocolate one that got a little wonky on one side. <laughs> it looks like this one didn't solidify all the way, but that's okay. So maybe you should be more patient than me. However, even though they didn't really stick together, they're still super cute. So, you know, I'm kind of glad I don't work there because I don't think these would sell very well. But let's see how they taste. So look at this one that I really messed up with the sprinkles on the, on the bottom. Mm. It's chocolate, so it's good. Even though it's kind of strange looking. And it's not as beautiful and perfect as the commercial one. You know, I'd still be happy getting these on Valentine's. So, yep, 10 out of 10. Anyway, I hope you like this video. And I hope you can try some of Japanese candies out too, because they're so creative and fun and just really tasty. And if they're not tasty, they're usually really interesting anyway, so it's worth your money. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.